Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Rebecca Rice, and today we're talking about your Lightroom export settings for high resolution images and for Instagram or Facebook uploads. This is the settings that you need to use to have the best, most crisp photos, whether it's for print or for social media. So can't wait to dive in. far, I wanted to tell you about a couple things. First, we have a free Facebook group if you want community of other photographers. It's called Mom Photography 101. We will link it below for you to check out. This is just a community of like-minded photographers. We have thousands of photographers from all over the nation and all over the world that can come together and receive feedback or ask questions or, you know, all the things. So if you would like to join, just click that link in the description and we would love to have you. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Help us out with the YouTube algorithm here so that other people can find this video. If you find it helpful, let us know in the comments, like the video so that we know that this is helpful for you and to help YouTube know to show it to more people. Okay, friends, so we are inside Lightroom Classic CC, which is the one that I prefer to use, and we're going to go to File and Export. So from here, there are some specific settings that we're gonna use to get that high-res image. So we'll walk through high-res image first, and then we'll do social, social sharing. So first, you can pick wherever you want your photo to go, and then for file naming, I like to do the last name, dash family, and then sequence. So it starts with number one and however many photos are in the gallery, let's say there's, you know, 40, then it'll number them one through 40, which is great. So this is what it'll look like. Um, so you click the little menu here and you can do custom name dash sequence. Um, and so you can rename it to whatever you want. Under your actual file settings, this is where you're gonna to wanna to select JPEG for the image format, the color space to be sRGB, that's just standard for print, and then bring your quality all the way up to 100, and then do not check this limit file size. Then under image sizing, don't check resize to fit. Instead, we're gonna have resolution and put 300 pixels per inch. And this is the largest JPEG like file size that you can get. And it is great for printing in any size, which is incredible. So those are the export settings you're going to need for high resolution images. Now, if you're wanting to do social sharing, this is where you're gonna wanna limit the file size because the largest file size that you can get for social sharing is 1080 pixels. So we're gonna do resize to fit and um, you're gonna wanna select long edge if it's a portrait. So we're gonna do 1080 pixels, um, still in 300 pixels per inch. And that's if it's a portrait image. I said that backwards. Long edge would be landscape photo. If it's a portrait photo, you want the short edge to be 1080 pixels because that's like as wide as social media can get it. So that will help you have the largest file size you can for social sharing and make it nice and crisp. The other piece you want to remember is when you're transferring photos to your phone from your computer, you want to make sure that you're doing it without losing file size because if you just text it to yourself, then this file size that we just set for social media becomes smaller and it's not going to be as crisp when you upload it. So um, make sure to transfer it using AirDrop if you are an Apple user or something like Google Drive or Dropbox, and that ensures that your file stays this large size that we just set it at, and it doesn't compromise the size or make it less, um, you know, it makes it smaller. So hopefully this is helpful just to see it in action in Lightroom. Um, and don't forget to join our Mom Photography 101 Facebook group if you have any other questions or things that uh, you want feedback for editing, anything, you can do that in the group. It's completely free to join. We linked it in the description. And if you liked this video, if it was helpful for you, hit that like button and then comment. Let us know what you think. If you had any questions um, or if this was helpful, let us know. 